I can draw the sun or the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! <laughs> oh, hi. I, I'm Peter Reynolds. I was deep in thought. I've been trying to think of what to draw. I have a blank page in front of me, and uh, I'm trying to think of where to start. Well, a great place to start uh, is to make a mark and see what that inspires. And there we are, what do you think? A beautiful dot. And of course I use my imagination to think, what could that dot become? And do you know, while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna throw in a few more dots. In fact, it's a good place to start if you're, if you're sort of wondering what to draw, just start with a dot. I am going to add a little detail. This dot is going to have wings. So I've got a flying dot. I've got my watercolors with me too, so I'm gonna add a little bit of color to this dot. And I've got a little trail of dots showing that it's moving. And let's see, what could this dot be? And if you want to, you can pick up some paper and a pen marker that's handy and start making dots and circles and, and use your imagination and figure out what your dots can become. Of course, dots are, they remind me of people's faces. Add just a little detail here. Now I've got someone flying through a dot universe. Oh, that reminds me, a dot universe, that could be the planet Saturn. So let's add a little color to Saturn. We'll put some stars, stars are kind of dot-like. And we'll add a little color to this guy. And your dots don't necessarily have to be things, they can just be designs, right? So we could just create some cool dot designs. I'm creating the dot universe here. Maybe one day we'll be celebrating intergalactic dot day. And I love mixing colors together and seeing what I get. So I put some yellow, I'm gonna put a little bit of orange, get some pink, Let add a little bit of water, kind of be surprised. That's a kind of a cool dot, a peace dot. different colored dots. Little dots, big wild dots. And I think this, put a little dot here with another dot dreamer. She can have dot pants. Sometimes I, I look at my painting and I wonder, thinking, what color haven't I used yet? And I look at my paint set and I think, hmm, I didn't use that one. And then I think, what if I combine this blue and that blue? And then you get an altogether new blue. Don't be afraid to experiment and have fun. The wonderful thing about a dot is there's no right or wrong way to make a dot.
there we have it. I think the only thing left to do is to sign it. Peter H. Reynolds. Well, the possibilities are endless. All you have to do is use your imagination. Celebrate International Dot Day with us. Grab a copy of the book, The Dot, where you can read it online at getepic.com, where there are tons of wonderful books that will inspire you to make your mark.